prosecutors dropped shocking text messages, allegedly from YNW Melly himself, throughout the trial. Do these texts link him to the Bloods gang directly? The phone on which the messages were sent was not far from the victim's phones on the night of the double murder. Is this suspected gang connection the tip of the iceberg? Are there any hidden layers to his involvement in the criminal case? Buckle up, we've got the unreleased footage and the nitty gritty in this criminal case. Press the like and subscribe buttons and come along for the wild journey through the investigation. What more mysteries surround YNW Melly in this case? Jamel Maurice Demons, better known to fans as YNW Melly, rose to fame at the age of 24. Ongoing legal troubles, mainly linked to allegations of gang affiliation, have clouded his public persona. After his arrest in early 2019, YNW Melly shifted from a promising rapper to a figure entangled in criminal controversies. He was charged with first-degree murder in connection with the deaths of two close associates and was put on trial in June 2023. Since then, shocking details about the rapper's role have come to light during the legal procedures. Before diving into the trial, let's quickly recap the crimes where YNW Melly's life took a dark turn in late October 2018. YNW Melly was hanging out with his friends, YNW Portland, YNW Sack Chaser, and YNW Juvie outside a recording studio on October 26th. But that night took a dark turn. Portland rushed Sack Chaser and Juvie, both of whom were tragically shot in what appeared to be a drive-by, to Memorial Hospital Miramar. Where was Melly? Initially, the crime appeared to be connected to a gang. However, forensic evidence revealed shocking details in February 2019. To everyone's surprise, law enforcement authorities revealed that Melly shot and killed his friends, staging the scene to look like a drive-by. Portland was taken into custody in Texas and sent to Florida, while Melly surrendered when the accusations surfaced. Despite the charges, he turned to Instagram to assert his innocence. He posted that he lost his two brothers to violence, and he assures that God and his brother, referring to Portland, are with him in the midst of lies and rumors. Do you trust Melly's Instagram post claiming to be innocent? Or was he the mastermind behind it all? The prosecution presented strong evidence in the form of text messages to Melly's mother, Jamie Demons King. Their conversation was definitely suspicious. The August 2018 conversation focused on the rapper's issues with Sack Chaser. Demons stated Sack Chaser as his best buddy before Melly would ask for a Glock 40 or 19. Why does this revelation serve as the proverbial smoking gun in the courtroom drama? It is because a weapon expert verified that Sack Chaser and Juvie were killed with a .40 caliber handgun. District Attorney Christine Bradley asserted that tracking data showed the four men were at three different sites after they left the studio, Miramar, Pembroke Road, and Pines Boulevard. Poland's claim was that the drive-by took place in Miramar, but no evidence was found there. Bradley claims that Pembroke Road is where the drive-by was staged because something noteworthy was found there. The prosecution threw additional confusion into the case. They claimed that Melly was with the victims, citing phone data, only 15 minutes before Portland drove up to the hospital. Why would Melly harm two close associates without a clear motive? Was the question the defense argued throughout the trial. Who did the prosecution bring before the court to challenge this statement? And why did he hide his face? Due to death threats, Detective Danny Polo covered his face for safety. Polo testified that Melly was connected to G-Shine, a Bloods offshoot, connecting the murders to gang-related activity. Polo highlighted numerous photos of Melly alongside other Bloods to show his membership in the group. In spite of this, the prosecution found it difficult to pinpoint a specific motivation. Melly's DNA was absent from crucial pieces of evidence, while his prints were on the passenger side door handle. This contradicted the video footage in which he was seen behind the driver on the left. The defense pointed out these differences, and the judge was also angry with the prosecution because they had withheld the test results. The lawsuit that the families of Sack and Juvie filed claimed a possible half million dollar deal for the YNW brand. They alleged a financial conflict between the four men. According to the prosecution, Melly shot them inside an SUV following a late night recording session. He might get the death penalty if he is found guilty of first degree murder. What role, if any, do you think money played in the unfortunate events? Comment below.